Welcome to the Jezda Summit interview series. And today we are speaking with Harry Antafor, former executive director of UNICEF, chairperson and CEO of Holzman International, a manufacturer and investment company. You are also the first woman to serve as administrator of USAID and director of US Foreign Assistance. And you are one of Jezda's new board members. And you participated in a session called Investing in Emerging Science. So what was your message to the participants? What we want to do is to be sure that people read the radar and see what the breakthroughs are in science. And we would very much like people to see one that they could help. Some breakthrough, some science piece that they could realize either in business or in nonprofit work or in their diplomatic work so that our world can become a better place. Now, scientific breakthroughs also have to follow economic logic, as we all know. Um, how can the economic sector help make sure these breakthroughs see the light? Is it, like you said, seeing something and just saying, oh, I want to invest in that? So we realize that's puzzle. That's the puzzle we all have to just overcome. But a company can look at some of these breakthroughs and see that it's adjacent to the business that they have, or it is where their business will go in five, 10, 25 years. And it's difficult sometimes to reimagine your businesses or your diplomacy as a nation. But if you do, the radar helps you see that, but you have to translate it. So having business cases, that the scientists who have created the breakthroughs can utilize to talk about how their, how their breakthroughs could be used in the world are very helpful. And then for others like UN agencies or foreign assistance entities to think about how they could use those breakthroughs in the world and thus, whether it's procurement or whether it is uh, the facilities that are creating manufacturing possibilities or marketing possibilities or digital or platform possibilities for all of these breakthroughs. That's what you're looking for, that connection. Connect the, the, the two sides. Now, one of um, Jezda's many objectives is to find possible avenues uh, of action to accelerate scientific trends benefiting humanity. You have worked many, many years in international aid and at the UNICEF. So will this be your job on the board as a new member? Well, it will certainly be one of my jobs. Uh, good governance of any independent institution is important. So as a board member, you are also looking after the entity itself. But then you want to be sure you know what the breakthroughs are for. What sorts of things will you solve in the world? Could you reduce poverty? Could you reduce hunger? Um, you know, better education for those and not leave anyone behind. This should be something that's very open to the world. Geneva is known for now for science and for diplomacy and for finance. So if you can put all of those together, um, you will hope that we as the board can help nurture along these breakthroughs. Leaving no one behind, as you say, inclusivity, that's going to be a big problem also with the economic factor. It is, absolutely. Sometimes you see a breakthrough that you know could help um, the very, the, the poorest uh, in the world, and you would wish you could take it there, but that is not uh, currently what it has. So if we can put public and private finance together, I think we can move many of these breakthroughs out into the world where people all over the world can take advantage of them. So that's our mission. That's what we'll hope to do. And the radar is the way to come into it. Harry Antafor, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you, Muriel.